Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I am your host, Rich. Here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalty, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, very well. Thanks for having us on the program. Hey, my pleasure. Congratulations on all your success. Today, Vox is at $3.97. When we first started covering Vox Royalty, it was at $2.70. So we've seen some nice price appreciation on the stock. Congratulations on all your success so far. Now, I have some questions for you. Uh, my first question is, Vox announced record annual revenues. Can you please go through the numbers for the viewers? Yeah, so Rich, really excited to announce today record annual revenues. Uh, so we had, if you recall, last year, about mid-year, we doubled guidance. So we were expecting around $1.7 to $2.5 million in revs. We ended up doubling that to between $4 and $5 million of revenue. Uh, and we came in at the higher end of our guidance at almost $4.6 million in revs. Um, so it was a very, very productive year from that standpoint. And we really saw uh, the fruits from a lot of the seeds that we've been sowing over the last few years. Our whole business model is predicated, as you know, on buying third party royalties on assets that are really kind of in that near term production bucket. Um, and that's where we find the best value and the best opportunities for our, for our investors. And so that is really kind of the manifestation and the delivering on um, that mission that we have for our shareholders and finding very good value in a royalty model, very, very focused royalty model on assets that are going to be coming in production over the near and medium term. And so that revenue um, is really driven off of that organic growth, as we say. So what's already in the portfolio, delivering great results for our investors. I love it. I love your business model. I try to explain to people, I'm like, there's so many miners out there and they're always drilling and they're always waiting and they're always you know, doing 41, uh, for, you know, 43 101s, getting geologists on the properties. And that costs money, costs time. And your business model is brilliant because you're looking for projects that are ready to go. And then you invest and you collect the royalty. It's brilliant. It makes sense. And investors don't have to wait a long time to see returns. They're seeing returns very quickly. Now, speaking of those returns, one of those returns that we're in the process of uh, right now talking about, and one of those things that you guys are in the process of doing, and we've talked about this before, is your NASDAQ listing application has been filed. Can you tell the viewers how this will help significantly increase liquidity and awareness of Vox? Certainly. That is also a really exciting piece of what we announced today. Um, so right now we, we trade on the Toronto Venture Exchange, which is terrific, uh, and the OTCQX, which we've steadily seen volume increasing uh, on that listing. The reality, though, is this path has been well trodden by a lot of our peers and comps in the marketplace. And two of the closest peers that we track saw their volume go up by 5 and 10x on average um, over a, a year period from pre-listing to post-listing. Um, and so that's very, very significant for us. It really opens up the investor awareness and audience that can buy Vox. We believe that we're still deeply undervalued versus our closest comps in the marketplace. Um, by as much as 50% undervalued versus where they trade. So we believe that this is going to help us close that gap. That liquidity really allows a, you know, a furtherance of our institutional shareholding, which has already been very, very successful for us. Um, and so if you look at the precedents, uh, it's really been a, a tremendous um, opportunity for those companies and for the shareholders in these businesses that get in pre that listing. Um, and so we are obviously uh, excited to announce that we are going down this path we meet the qualifications uh, and really it's, it's a procedural process from this point forwards. Um, so excited about that. Congratulations. Anytime a company gets listed on the senior exchange on the NASDAQ, that's always a huge catalyst. So congratulations on all of your success thus far. Now I want to talk about inflation. Inflation is raging. It was announced on Thursday that U S inflation reached a 40 year high 7.9%, just a, a shocking number. Before accounting for the recent shock in oil prices, how Vox can how can Vox help investors? Yeah, look, we both agree it's a it's a very dynamic market right now. It's the the world continues to throw a lot of challenges 
at investors at, at present time. Um, but there are some constants right now, and inflation is one of them, and risk is one of them. And what you find in inflationary times is commodities typically do very well. We're seeing that, whether it's nickel, whether that's gold, really across the spectrum, oil commodities are doing extremely well, which is what was expected. Well, how does a royalty company provide opportunity to be really kind of a flight to safety and a flight to growth? Well, the interesting part of how Vox fills what I think is a huge void for investors right now is we provide that upside leveraged correlation with commodity prices. Um, and we have, and, and the upside is commodity prices are moving. The leverage is we have almost 90 million ounces of gold equivalent resource covered under royalty in the ground um, as part of our portfolio. But we get all those benefits and obviously increasing revenue. We saw that in the announcement today. But what that does for investors is really significant because we're not exposed to the cost inputs that the miners, that inflationary pressure is putting on the miners. So you get the benefit of that commodity exposure and the leveraged commodity exposure that miners offer without the significant drag on, um, on, on your costs and the increase in those costs. Because inflation is affecting mining companies just like it is us as consumers. So because our revenue interest is at the top line, so we're taking a percent of revenue, we're not taking a percent of profit or EBITDA. Um, so those costs do not get passed on to the royalty company. So you get the benefit of inflation driving commodities higher, which we're seeing already, without that drag on increased costs um, eating away margin. So the royalty companies right now are in a very, very, um, I, I would call it uh, kind of sweet spot for investors that understand inflation's here, understand that it's a challenge, um, but are able to find value and growth um, with a lot less risk. I love it. And you can see money is just flowing into gold, gold now over 2000. And last time we got gold over 2000, it didn't stay there very long, but it looks as though under the market environment that we're in, we may go even higher than here and who knows how high it goes. So it's going to be interesting to see, but you're definitely in an advantageous position. No doubt about that. So as an investor, why not be invested in a company that's in a good position? I think that's how you make money as an investor. Position yourself in quality companies that are growing, growing their revenues, and have a great future outlook, which you guys clearly do with some huge catalysts like the NASDAQ coming. Now, is there anything else you would like investors to know about Vox Royalty Corp before we go today? Yeah, Rich, I think we covered a lot of ground. Very excited about what is happening organically within our portfolios. That's continued growth. Came out just a few days ago with a press release talking about how the assets in the portfolio are growing without Vox having to put another dollar to work. Um, so with 55 royalties and streams all around the world, mostly precious metals linked in safe jurisdictions, um, we believe that we present a really unique opportunity for investors to leverage what's happening today um, at present time uh, for their benefit. Super excited to see you guys continue to grow and evolve. Thank you for your time today. The CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. Thank you for joining us today, Kyle. Thank you very much, Rich. Always a privilege. Always a pleasure. And I must remind you guys that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before investing in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Investing is inherently risky. Do your due diligence. Make sure you get to know the companies. That's why we do these videos so you can get a chance to see what's behind the desk what the CEOs are saying, what's going on with the company. So please, guys, love to know what you think about this video. If you like the video, it also helps the video go viral. If you smash the like button, comment on the video, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. This is Rich from rich to be Live, your host. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, and we bring them to you first. Everybody put Vox Royalty Corp on your radar immediately. VOX in Canada is the symbol. VOXCF is the symbol in America. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, Kyle, for joining us. And we'll see you soon, guys. Have a nice day.